Congratulations, Brody. Appreciate it, appreciate it, man. What were the emotions around in your head as you put a pen and paper uh, one, I was very excited, man. I'm just blessed to even be in the position. Um, I'm glad my mom wasn't here. I would have cried. And, you know, I kind of supposedly a tough guy here. So, you know, that wouldn't have looked good on on me. But, um, yeah, man, I'm just excited. Um, I'm filled with emotion. I'm happy to be able to call. <laughs> I'm happy to be able to be home for the next three years, man. Um, and I'm glad it's here. I don't have to go anywhere different. I don't have to learn a new scheme. I know everything already. I'm comfortable and um, I'm just really excited for the opportunity to grow each and every year. Uh, no, not at all. But I mean, it's a blessing to be in this position. All I did was just kept my head down and just worked really. Um, and Coach Harbs doing OTAs, like he kind of, he kind of mentioned it, but, you know, um, I didn't want to let it get to my head because at the end of the day, I'm still trying to get better. Um, and I haven't even, <laughs> I barely scratched the surface of what I could really be. And I just look forward to the opportunity to be able to do that here. And I'm just blessed. I mean, for me personally, I didn't, my whole thing was just getting better every day. I really didn't think about it um, because there's <laughs> more, there's a lot of guys that's in my class that's more deserving, I feel like. Um, but like I said, I'm blessed to be in this position and I'm super excited to be able to call the Baltimore Ravens home for the next two years. Robert, what did it mean to be able to kind of celebrate with your guys in midfield after practice? It seemed like they were all pretty fired up for you to get the deal done. Uh, it was a great feeling because normally like I kind of just stay to myself in the, in the building and like I speak to everybody and stuff like that, but um, just to see those guys embrace me the way they did, um, it meant a lot. Um, and shoot, I was just, I was just filled with um, happiness, honestly. Broder, Broder, when the coaches talk about you, they say, "So this guy's, he's, he, every time he comes back to the building, he's better than he was when, when he left." Coming into this season, was there a specific thing you wanted to work on? I mean, how, how are you better now than you were at the end of last season? If I had to point out one thing, I would just say it's my confidence in myself. Like, I'm a pretty confident guy, um, but and for some reason, like, eh, I, eh. it's honestly hard to really put anything on it. But coming into the season and during the offseason, my thing was working on pass rush um, because without Calais, you know, there's a lot of pass or snaps up for grabs, and I'm trying to be one of the guys that's get some, getting some of them. So um, my main focus was just pass rush over the offseason. Uh, yeah, yeah. Why not? <laughs> I'd be a fool not to, you know. Um, but yeah, um, and Chuck every day he got some for the guys um, in the pass rush department, and I mean, he's been a great help for everybody, for the whole room. Honestly, he makes us better um, as a unit, and we're going to continue to grow with him. Uh, for me, it's from my mom. Um, I grew up um, in a single parent home for the most part. Um, and shoot, I watched my mom grind through everything by herself. So um, I come in and I don't, I don't allow myself to have excuses. Um, you know, my faith in God is really, really high. So I know um, that if I remain faithful and continue to work, um, he's going to bless me and um, shoot, he'll just continue to bless me, you know. So I don't care about any time limits. I don't care how long it takes. Um, as long as I can play football and be out here, or um, I'm going to work and I'm going to get better each and every day. Roderick, earlier you said uh, you barely scratched the surface, right? So like. 
entering this year with, the, with this deal already done, you know, where do you feel like in you know, 2023 you're going to make the biggest strides? Can you already feel yourself kind of um, heading in a certain direction where you're going to get better at your game coming into this season? To be honest, not really. I just take it day by day and, you know, just continue to work on the small things and, you know, um, see where we fall when the season's in, you know. Your mom coming up and having, you know, single parent home. What was that conversation like after you were able to get the deal done? Or if, if you could talk to your family yet, what was that conversation like for you at that time? To be honest, I haven't really had that conversation yet because I know my mom's going to be out here um, – this week for the game. So <laughs> I know that'll be a emotional time. Um, and, you know, I look forward to it. I've been trying to hold, hold back the emotion just for her because um, that's who I really want to share the moment with. I want to share it with my whole family, but my mom, um, she's been with me through it all. I always had my back um, and shoot. I, I just can't wait to just embrace her and have that moment with her. Thank you, Roderick. Oh, Thanks. one more thing. Um, I want to shout out the guys upstairs for having faith in me and believing in me to even put me in this position. Um, and thank you all for being here today. <laughs>